near nexus here with a uh, set profile. This is my Good Go Zombies uh, version 3. I've been messing around with uh, Good Go Zombies for a while. Um, it's a very interesting deck. You know how much I like my zombies and how unfortunately they're not very playable for the past few formats and things like that. But this is a way I've sort of found to relive my zombie glory days because of this guy, Go for Your Ghost. Working with Zombie Master, and Goblin Zombie, and Mizuki, and all that other zombie shit. So, let's get to the deck list. We've got three Go for Your Giant. Now, the reason why I'm running three Giant is because A, he's a rock, he's a 2k beater, and he can special serve any Go for Go monster, including another giant. So, if I get mill a giant I, and I don't have another Go for Go, I can summon giant, special summon another giant. So, Pretty good. Then we've got three Goku Go Ghost. When it's special summon, we get special summon Goku Go Golem. Being this guy. And, uh, yeah. It also can be special summoned. It can be special summoned uh, by Giant. It can be special summoned by Master. It can be special summoned by Mizuki. You know, lots of different ways to special summon it. And, of course, you know, Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn's a card. So yeah, so I'll go Giant, Ghost, Golub, or I can go Master, Pitch something, get a Ghost, get a Golub, or go Banish Mizuki, get a Ghost, get a Golub. Very simple. Go not go go Golub, can help destroy one for turn by battle if it's in defense position. So that is pretty handy, 1800 feet stick ain't exactly bad either. Uh, 15 defense ain't great, but you know, it survives N attack, so it takes 2 hits to kill it. Pretty cool. Um, if you notice, it goes 18, 19, 2000, which is pretty cool in the attack points. Uh, then we've got Mizuki bringing his shit back. We've got Zombie Master, because Zombie Master is God. Uh, we got two goblin zombies suction out my shit. We got a place for a zombie, it's incurring. And we have three Kage to Kage. Now, I haven't seen Kage to Kage in a lot of Go deck lists, but I've seen it in some. And I'm t trying out the card. It's quite a nice card because you can't always have your, you know, mill ability. Uh, first turn, so Kage to Kage is a nice card to have, and it's such a ball by uh, this exit here, King of the Feral Lips. You detach material from him, such I'll wrap top of my deck and add it to your hand, which is Kage to Kage, which sets up place for the next turn. So essentially, you can go summon the Zombie Master, special summon a Kage to Kage, pitch something for Zombie Master, bring back a Goku Ghost, which then brings back Goku Golem, and hey presto, you got four monsters on the field. Pretty cool. Um, and it's a dark. Uh, there's no significance in it being a dark because I'm not running chaos. But, you know, it's just cool. Then we've got two card troopers for milling. You know, it gets our zombies into the graveyard, gets our go goes into the graveyard, and gets our plants into the graveyard. Because I'm running the plant engine mainly just for sport. So I can go into things like Crimson Blade Up. And Mistworm, and yeah, some of my higher end synchros. Because really, with Plague Spreader, I'm not going to be able to do much apart from 6. Or if I get out my level 6, being Guy Knight, I'm only going to be able to go to um, level 8 that way. So, yeah, that's why I'm running the Plant Engine for the synchro ability. Plus, it's 4 comes to level 4. It, I can overlay it with one of my other monsters, and it can become. One of my fancy uh, level 4 exceeds, so I don't run any rank 3 exceeds. On some spells, we've got Foolish, the dumping shit, we've got the Trinity, we've got Pot of Avarice, put the shit back in deck, and sometimes, you know, it needs a little bit of draw power, and you need to put the shit back in the deck if, you know, too much has escaped. Um, two MST, two Lance, that's pretty much my standard now. Um, two TT, because Everything likes to get the grave on the stick, I can't get to target. 
and quite frankly it's expendable. Uh, two bottomless, uh, two pulse, it's the best down front of the game at the moment in my opinion. But uh, yeah, you know, sorry judgment's a card, sort of morning's a card, but this just deals with a wider variety of threats in my opinion. Uh, we've got two D prison, and then we've got two bombardment. Uh, he said one rock type monster from the depths of the grave affect your front fire damage, which gets me into my graveyard. I go for a giant, but primarily I want to get into my graveyard go for golems, so I can, you know, bring them back with ghosts and stuff like that. But if I'm out of golems, I can send a giant, it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, it's 43, it's not. I'd like the deck to be smaller, but, you know. It needs a lot of monsters, and it does need protection. And if you're dumping a ship into the graveyard, it's not that big a deal that it's slightly bigger than your average deck. Um, going on to the extra deck, we've got a Shockmaster for looking out plays. We've got a Spark Dragon for blowing shit off the field. Utopius is the standard. Pack Block 2. Um, Alpavitch, because there's quite a few Earth monsters in here. Uh, King of the Feralips, just to search out some of the target Kage. A Mace Stroke, Loveful Chain, which I really want in real life. Because uh, it mills my ship in the graveyard. Uh, and the Cowboy, then we've got Guitar Star, Guy Knight, Black Rose, a Scrap Dragon, a Crimson Blader, and a Mist Worm. Side deck, two Thunder Kings, King of the Chambers. Um, Two Fostina because Fostina is quite a nice card, and you know my special summon monsters don't really care if they get blown up that much, as like you know they all live in the graveyard anyway. So yeah, uh, two Maxis for draw power, two effect failures for uh, well the gate and shit, two electrifiers for eggs, two hunter plants for spellbooks I suppose, and any other warrior based decks. Uh, Bobo's a shield. I didn't know what else to put in the one card tech, so I just chose my body. And that's my phone. And then we've got two zombie worlds, which makes this deck absolutely godly. I just wish I could fit it into the main. I've been in Nexus, and signing out. Peace.